Hey everybody, Paul here back with Chroma Squad. So in the last episode we finished off Season 3, and in this episode we're going to be starting Season 4 with a new beginning. Let's get started. Cerebro, when I destroyed Lord Gaga's audience booster, and this piece fell off from it. Since you have already fixed and reverted the booster signal, could this be of any use? Mm. Allow me. Cerebro analyzed the glowing piece for a brief moment. This is alien material, a rare component on Earth, certainly useful later. Good news then, but I still can't believe this is actually happening. Yeah, Deny. A talking machine, alien materials, monsters invading Earth. But it feels good to have you back to norm your normal self, Glad. Cerebro, we are ready to fight Lord Gaga. I get. I, I guess. You need this first. It is a true teleporter that will get you anywhere in the city. Be careful, you may experience mild nausea until your bodies get used to it. Now you must hurry, a real monster is threatening a group of humans. We, he was last seen near the construction site. Construction site? What a cliché. Now I get why all the series use the same locations. So we just use the teleport. We should definitely try it. Let's do this then, to the construction site! Ooh, so rainbowy. Earlier that day. Hello, people of Earth! My name is Punk Pin! I'm here to spread chaos and feed on the fear in your eyes. <laughs> All I need is a few unsuspecting victims. The punkin, punk pin then searched around for his prey. He captured innocent people from the streets and vanished from the sunlight. Later that day... My head hurts. Do pharmacies sell teleport sickness pills? Uh, well, where are... We've got company, R5D401! Stand back, weaklings! You're not going into the sewers to rescue that other human. That answers my incomplete que- Oh, that answers my incomplete question. Remember, I still need audience to weaken Lord Gaga's portal. Let's beat up some real monsters through the cameras. So we have to perform a team attack with three squad members and keep all of our heroes standing. Which is actually pretty easy. So let's bring you there here, and then we'll do our team attack. And there's already one thing done. <laughs> now I just have to destroy them all. Okay, let's bring you over here, and we'll finish that off. Oh, of course. Okay. Let's try to beat this one now. That was gonna happen. Come on. We get at least one hit. One hit out of this whole turn. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna do something kind of crazy.
Just going for a chroma finish. I knew that would kill him. Or kill her. Whatever it is. Kill it, because it's not really him or her. We actually won! We can really do this! We can celebrate later. Quickly, to the sewers! Punk Pin's victims were brought to his hideout and locked up in a pumpkin cage. Humans, I welcome you to my hideout. Ain't this a beautiful place to live or to die? <laughs> what is this? Some sort of flash mob? <laughs> That's almost too funny. Uh, smell, I wonder why this monster chose this place. Hmm, wait here. I sense intruders. We need to find those people uh, Cerebro told us about, and quickly. Look! I think there's a group of people down there! We are here to save you. Don't worry. Everything will be all... Chroma Squad, watch out! Well, well, it seems we have some more toys for our little games. We're not here to play any games, whoever you are. We are here to save these people. Change my mind, you are annoying. My name is Punkpin, and this is my treat for you. Take this. Is that it? I thought you were going to fight me on a joke. Where do you think you're going? We did not fight yet. We can't save Earth while lying on the floor. Get up, everyone. Stand and fight. You were right, Claude. Stand up and fight, tonight, Lee. By the power of friendship, it is time, Chroma Squad! Lights, camera, chromatize! DIY clothes, what's happening here? I'm outnumbered. Gay, come out and play! Looks like we have a lot of guys to fight. And what we have to do is just uh, defeat 10 enemies. And then we have to, well, defeat him with the finishing move. But still, that's not bad. So let's have a few go up this way. And as you can see, we actually do have new suits from uh, what we bought. So that's really cool looking. Oh, good. We can bring out him up here. Honestly, I think yes. We'll defeat the bread. Well, never mind. Thought we were gonna be able to defeat the bread crumber, but I guess not. And I'm going to try something kind of risky. Might not. I might just kill. Th oh, never mind. No, I'm not going to try the Risky Maneuver any anymore. <laughs> I don't feel like doing it. Um, let's use him. Come up here and use a Square House Kick. Awesome. So you come here. Just stay. And stay. Let's have you come here. And use multi shot. Those two. And then let's have you defeat the red crummer. Yes. Now, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. This goes directly to Claude. Join up. 
get everyone else to surround him. There. R5D401. Then deny. And let's do a chroma finish. Yeah. There we go. You must be Cerebro Sheep, Lord Gaga told me about. Find me outside then. In my second life. What do we do now? I mean, we had a miniature city before. How can we find a real giant monster? Ferris, we need to save these people. Let me try and get rid of this pump pumpkin cage. Square house kick. Yes, it worked. It was really expecting for it to work, but oh yes. We need to believe in what we are doing. It is the key to our powers. We need to go now, but we'll be, be back to save you. Don't worry. What if we imagine our Chromosaur is real and use the teleporter? The same way we did when we transformed? Well, it's worth a try. Chromosaur activate! And it worked! So I still have not uh, <laughs> leveled up my Chromosaur. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do it, but yeah. I'm definitely going to be doing it for you guys, actually, at the end of this episode. Because that's the only way I'm not going to forget. <laughs> so let's just attack him some more. I'm pretty sure I have enough stuff. I have enough materials to level up my stuff quite a bit, to the point where I'm going to be pretty strong. Ow. Okay. Come on, hit one more. Yes, good. Okay. Got this. Hits. One more. And we use sword. There we go. We only have one more bar left to deal with. Okay. Oh, dang it. Well, next one I'm definitely going to be killing him, which is good. Then no more punk pin. Really hard to actually say <laughs> when I just want to say pumpkin instead of punk pin. It's, it's annoying. <laughs> okay, and that should do it. Yes! Down goes punk pin. It worked! I can barely believe it! We came back to save you like we promised. You are the first real people that we saved on our journey. Are you alright, people? Please tell us your name so we won't ever forget you. My name is Amanda Ford. I can't believe you guys are for real. I'm such a big fan. Mine is Caesar Ralph. Thanks, Chroma Squad. We are the ones that won't ever forget this day. I'm Chris Lindsay. You saved our lives. Thank a lot. What about you, miss? You have been very quiet through all this. 
I am very sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm Tammy. I don't think I will ever forget this day. I feel like this is a very important moment. You will change the world, Chroma Squad. Ah, uh, wow, cool. You're cool. I'm R5D401, by the way. Uh, nice to meet you, R5D401. Hey, aren't we supposed to have secret identities? What are you talking about, Jet? We're all over national television. Can we leave this place now? I really need to take a bath. Ooh, looks like R5D401 has a little crush. Ooh, it looks like we got a little achievement. Awesome. So, let's see how much money we collected from all of that junk. We got a lot of money. And we got some letters or emails. Um, no words will ever be enough to thank you for what you have decided to do, Claude and team. I knew you were not just TV stars. There is something special about you. Those people you saved today, they will remember. We will all remember. What you are doing matters. Thank you for inspiring us to fight against evil. Tammy Avo. Um, R5D401 told me to say, Hi. Oh, a hello to you too, R5D401. Smiley. Dear manager of Paterliaco, I am a concerned mother writing to you in need of advice. I always watch your show with my kids and they're obsessed with it. They have all your toys and t-shirts and bed sheets. In your episodes, you always seem to know what to do and you never give up. Their father has abandoned us a few months ago, and I might need to take a second job to be able to give my kids the comfort that they deserve. I won't have time to watch Chrome Squad episodes with them anymore. If I decide to do it, though, I want to be there for my kids. What should I do? You know what? We're gonna give you the money. I have no words for what you just did. This is beyond my wildest dreams. For me, you were not just actors. You are true heroes. Watching your show has given us some of the brightest moments in our house. I'll be sure to keep sharing it with my kids every week. Thanks for everything. <laughs> it's very touching. <laughs> okay, so let's craft some stuff right now. I have a few things I can do. Like that. Let me go back. And let's go to crafting, materials. Let's craft some of these. One more. Let's do some wood boards. Um, let's go back. Go to my mech. That's it for now. That's all I'm going to do. Uh, hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. Please like, subscribe, comment, favorite this video. It really helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Anyway, see you next time, guys. Bye.